Good morning and welcome to Daytime Tri-Cities. I'm Chris McIntosh along with Amy Lynn and we have a lot of people in our studio. I know, today. it's a very rowdy <laughs> studio this morning. We like that. It brings a lot of extra energy, don't you yes, think? Yes, absolutely. And we I, need a little extra I, energy yes, today. Yes, it's a little dreary of a morning, but yeah, we're getting pepped up. The weather has changed. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, did you see the lightning and hear the thunder oh, I was, last I night? I went out on my front porch to watch it a little bit last night. It was a, it was a big show last night. It well, really it was. Well, it was crazy because it was still warm outside. Mm -hmm. So you were watching that and then I'm hearing about the cold temperatures that we're going to get. So it was just a little all over the board. Now, did you get any morning, snow? We did not, but I know I just either. right outside in the Piney Flats area, there was some snowfall that made its way. And then, of course, it was gone by the time I went into work. Well, but. I had some Facebook friends send me pictures from down at Telford. Mm -hmm. And their, their deck and everything on the back of the house was completely snow covered. covered. But I asked Casey Marler just a moment ago in Jonesboro, and he said he didn't get anything. He didn't get anything. So. And, of course, there's even some school delays and some mm -hmm. cancellations today. Carter and Johnson and Mitchell yeah. and Avery, all those folks are out of school school today. So. so whatever you do, stay warm and just wait around for the weekend because they're saying the weekend's going to be warm again, oh. which is great. So just one day, <laughs> which I think we can all handle It's that. a one it day winter. February. We're getting winter one day at a time. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. It's really nice. Hey, big day tomorrow. We want to invite everybody to be sure to come out and join us for our Valentine's Day special. It will be held over there at Food City on State of Franklin Road. And I've had a lot of pe people send me pictures of themselves with our cardboard cutout over there. So they're doing some great promotions for us. Hopefully we have a great crowd. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We got some great giveaways. We always have great giveaways. So it's really, we want to have a great big audience here tomorrow. Just get in the car and head on over and enjoy Amy and I and all the great people we're going to have with us. We're going to have cooking segments, giveaways, flowers. It's going to be nice. It's going to be a lot of fun. And of course that kicks off a huge weekend. There's a lot of people doing some fun things for Valentine's mm -hmm. Day and the soup will be on <laughs> at the Higher <laughs> Education Center coming up on Saturday and you're going to be there. I'll be emceeing that event. Me and Christy Slaughter, our gluten-free guru, we're going to be walking around talking to people while this is going on. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so much fun. I'm looking so forward to it. Larry Thomas, the soup Nazi from Seinfeld, yeah. will be there. He'll be signing autographs. We're going to have such a fun time. It is the third year for this event. I've been there the last two years. Have so much fun. You walk around right. and sample dozens of different types of soups, all the right. great chefs from all over the area. And it's fun because everybody's got their spoon in their back pocket and they're whipping it back out. Well, see, I'm going to keep a spoon so with me so I can taste. You need to. Oh, yes, they give you bowl. one spoon, but you might want to bring some extras just but to I'll, be ready. I want some folks to come join us and we're going to give away some tickets. And all you got to do is be caller number 11 at that number right there on the bottom of the screen. Oh, 7 and 11. We're giving away two sets of tickets. That's right. We're giving away a bunch of tickets. And all that whole event will be held over there in Abingdon at the Southwest Virginia High Education Center. Again, it is this Saturday. Begins at 11 o'clock and be sure you're very hungry because lots of soups to sample. Mm, I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm hey, have Chris, fun we have yes. a little surprise for you this morning. Uh oh. Do you know Nivia Arnett? I do Name know Nivia about. Arnett. I want you to take a look at oh, these no. pictures and this tell me if bad. you recognize this little boy in these pictures. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Nivia sent me these pictures and apparently you were friends with her daughters. Yes, you guys absolutely. went to church together. Lisa and Tammy, yes. Well, this little Tammy, the other flower girl, you were very upset this wedding day because you thought you were going to marry Tammy, the uh -oh. flower girl. And you were not I'm sure ready her to husband right now doesn't appreciate that. <laughs> oh man. One of Isn't the few times right? you're going to see me in a suit and tie when I was, was uh, I cannot believe she, you she, snuck this by me. I am truly surprised. She sent these to me and, and that was, she said the I picture thought you might want to get to see some of these oh old my photos goodness. of Chris. That makes me so happy I can't stand it. Oh really? Because that is my dad Aww. there beside me. It's so sweet. I'm sorry. Chris. No, no. <laughs> no, well, it, it makes me really happy because it's that was an old-fashioned day at our church. Yes. And I had my bib overalls on. So. You sure did. And you look just like your dad there. You know who else you look just like, Chris? My mom. Uh, yes. And your son. And my son, Connor. Look at this. This is how much we had to pull this because I was like, he looks exactly like Connor. So Toby pulled a picture <laughs> of him a little couple years ago. And look at the resemblance there. Wow. Isn't that crazy? He does look a lot like me. Yeah. And I haven't, I honestly, I have not, I have not seen these pictures since I was that age. So. Really? Well, so, thank you, Nevia. I appreciate that. And here they are. I saved them for you. Oh. So they're right here, and you can take she those so with sweet. you. She is so sweet. All right. I thought you would like that. That is awesome. Thank you, Nivia. Such a great surprise. Isn't that cool? August the 72. 
I was nine years old. I was uh, born in August of 72. Well, that makes me feel old. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, wow. oh, look at there. Thank and you. you didn't have to marry Tammy. You married your own Tammy. <laughs> that came along years later. So everything was good. That's, everything ends well. All right. We have a big show. Lots and lots of rowdy fun guests today. Coming up, we're going to tell you about what one young lady is doing to help her local hospitals. And we're going to take you over to the Bramble. I know. There in we're Irwin. getting ready for a Valentine's Big. Day spectacular. Plus, apparently we have a $10,000 bottle of bourbon right They showed it to me studio. just a moment ago. $10,000. We're going to tell you about a special event coming up. Stay with us. Food City is the premier sponsor of Daytime Tri-Cities.